Hey guys, I am Angie. And I'm Lou. We're Eat Sleep RV Repeat. And today we're doing another mod on our newish Ford F-150. New to us. <laughs> what are we going to be working on today, Lou? We're going to be doing the fender flares. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. Every little modification Okay, that's the male lady. <laughs> Every little modification has had me more and more excited. I was very excited about the sidebars. And the fender flares. Yeah, these are going to be a little more challenging. All right, well, let's get this show on the road. All right, guys, so this is the uh, box for the fender flares for the truck. Um, there's four PVC plastic pieces, two for the front, two for the back, and it comes with the hardware as well. <clears throat> the hardware. Uh, it's a bunch of screws and spacers that come with it, and a little tool. Um, this is the edging. It goes on the edge of the fender flare against the body of the truck. And uh, the instructions. Let's see, there's four of them in here. They're not mounted by these screws here. These are just like fake screws that give it that look. And uh, here's the inside. Pretty hollow. And you're basically going to use the existing screws on the inside of your wheel well to attach these. Um, you might need to create some additional holes along the side here, along this channel. Or you might just get away with uh, the ones that it brings. I'm probably going to be safe and add um, a couple of additional holes to the fender flare just to make sure that it's securely on. Lou's just decided last minute to start putting together some of the parts for the fender flares that we'll be installing tomorrow. Basically, these holes on the fender flares, you fill them with um, a screw and a washer and a nut to make it look like it was screwed onto your uh, your truck, your Jeep, whatever it is you're putting it on. Mm -hmm. And um, it really doesn't work that way. You just um, basically screw them to the inside of the wheel well on the bottom here. Alright. We'll check back in with you later. I'm not going to stay on this for too long. This will mainly be a tomorrow video. Good morning guys. Well, afternoon because we're not morning risers, but it's the next day and we are going to finish this baby off and install the, the fender flares now that Lou finished doing all of the cute assembly for the uh, aesthetic part. See you soon. This might not be an option for everyone, 
but it might be an option for some. So if your truck or car or whatever has these small fender flares already installed, you definitely should take them off first. So Lou's gonna take care of that. Before we begin the installation. So what is that that we're looking at? Uh, it's like a, I don't know, plastic screw, a grommet, I don't know. So you definitely want to pull those out when you're pulling out the fender flare. pushing up as she's removing it because those little holes have like a little slit on the top so you want to push it up so that it angles perfectly through the hole and then you can pull it out. So these are the next things that you want to take out. This is what we're taking out. this fender flare didn't come with any screw, any holes on it so you have to mark them yourself which is quite the challenge so uh, I've elected to start at the bottom and screw in these parts to the um, truck and then go on the inside of the wheel well and make a mark with this here a uh, little scratch mark where the holes should be should be is the uh, operative for <laughs> Okay. So there you can see the scratches of one mark and the other mark. Time to drill some holes. Time to make some holes. that those holes are ready to have the screw put in and the fender flare has the holes in the two corner wheel well areas it's time to align it put in the screws in each side and then loop in a mark all the other holes underneath the wheel well to match the fender flare and then back to drilling yep. So there's this little thing, I have no idea what it's called. It's like a slip nut maybe, something like that. That's what I'm thinking because it slips into somewhere and then it creates thread like a nut. So I'm going with slip knot, okay? Uh, wasn't there a band in the 80s named slip knot? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, anyways, so what I'm doing over here is that under the wheel well, there's some screws. Like right here, there's a little plastic nut that it's going to screw into right here. So I want to make a hole on this that matches this piece here. So what I'm going to do is that Angie's going to push it against a wheel well. I'm going to go under and I'm going to slip this into here to align it where I see the screw that's on the wheel well already. I'm sorry, the nut, the plastic nut that's on the wheel well already. So I'm going to slip it in to align it and from the outside from the outside this way, I'm going to make a mark on the plastic as to how it aligns. And then I'm going to make a, a hole in here inside of the um, fender flare. Right, you'll see that Lou is lining up her little slip knot <laughs> um, before marking the area to drill the hole. Now that we have all the holes aligned, it is time to take these screws back out to remove this fender flare 
and drill in those holes. Alright, so now that we have the holes done, it is time to go line it up. So the screws that go um the screws that go on the bottom of the fender flare. I'm gonna use these uh, lock nuts, nylon nuts or something like that. I don't know. Um, but just to make sure they don't fall off, I'm gonna use it. So better safe than sorry. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> Alright, you'll see that the two bottoms are already in. We don't have to uh, hold it in place anymore. Now what I need to do is basically push the top against the truck and then Luke can go ahead and put in the screws into like, I don't know if you can see, but like these little holes. Alright, so first one in. Yeah. <laughs> Success! It looks pretty good! It does look pretty good. This is gonna be a hot truck. Yeah. Conchita's gonna look sexy. We're working on it. <laughs> Alright. She's getting a facelift. Basically, yeah. So now, basically, that whole process that you just saw Lou go through. Mm -hmm. Us go through. I just held it here and there. Well, I can't do it without. <laughs> Um, repeat all that on the other side. So right. it's rinse and repeat, and cross your fingers that you align those uh, <laughs> screw holes where they should be. Yeah, yeah, that's difficult, I guess. And these are the rear ones, so the next time, the next thing is the ones in the front. Yeah, that's gonna be different. Yeah, it's a slightly different. It's a little smaller, but um, I think it's gonna be basically the same process. Alright, well let's get the other one going. Let's do that. Check this out. The fender flare is done. So this is the driver back side. You'll see the comparison with the front. And now let's check out the other side. Yes. So we're back. And I wish that this was as fast that it is for you watching <laughs> because I feel like it's taking forever for us. As you can see, we're in like another outfit. So it's the next day and we're going to finish off the front fender flip. Now this is the last one. The final frontier <laughs> done. has been conquered or, so, or will be conquered. So excited. So excited. All right, let's get it done. Let's do this. All right, so first things first, once again, Lou has to take off the original fender flare. Uh, so that's what you see her doing right now. She's unscrewing it. So after removing the original fender flares and cleaning that area, Lou has to take out a screw that's on the bottom of the truck because the screw is going to go back in once we attach the new fender flare. Now that Lou aligned the bottom of the hole, we're going to go ahead and drill the rest of the holes that she marked throughout to match the holes like we did in the previous fender flares. Let's do this. So unlike the back fender flares, the front ones already had holes in them. However, the holes didn't align with the truck. Hence, Lou just drilled our own little, little holes. Here we go. <laughs> Finally time to put them on. <laughs> Final frontier, the last one of the four. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> mm 
Now that the fender flare is in place, Lou is tightening all of the screws so that they can all be nice and tight and done. After this, we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. It's a rinse and repeat process. I probably won't be uh, recording that part. So we'll check back in once we're checking out and saying goodbye. <laughs> All right, guys, so we finished all four fender flares. Yeah, and it only took 27 days. <laughs> it's a little bit of an exaggeration, but okay, I'll take it. 19. <laughs> no, it took like two and a half days to do. Uh, we just changed to daylight savings time. Yeah. So me waking up so late sort of shortens our day, but now we have long, beautiful daylight. I know it should be dark already. Like it should start getting dark, and it's it's beautiful outside. It's not. Yeah. It's great for vampires. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little walkthrough of all four of them so that you can check them out. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We are in the transition of um, moving into an RV lifestyle, so you'll be catching for now a lot of South Florida stuff, um, and then in the future, us touring the Lower 48. So give us thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you soon. Bye. All right, so here is the front driver's side. Looking good. The sidebars that we did in a previous video and here is the back driver's side also. Here's a full scope of the front, of the driver's side. And then you saw these already. At the beginning of the video, there is the back passenger, the sidebar and window visors that we did, and the front passenger sign. Kind of cool looking, you know, with all the black accents. What do you think of the, the fender flares? Do you love them? Amazing. They came out good? It made, it made a big change in the, in the look of the truck. Was it really hard to do? It was. It was. I think it was. I mean, when I finally figured out the process, it made it easy. But originally, it, it wasn't. It didn't come with, you know, the pre holes or the whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Right. So having to figure out where to make the holes for it to fit was was challenging. And then aligning them to put in those screws was challenging and it might be an easy job for somebody else i've never done it before and it's, there's probably an easier way to do of doing it um but that's how we figured out how to make it happen and, i mean they look good and i'm happy i did it but i don't ever want to do it again <laughs> you were saying before so end cap here and it's uh probably pvc or something someone's calling me it's kind of likely rolling rolling rolling, rolling. <laughs>